Well, good morning and uh, welcome to this uh, meeting of Logan County Commissioners. Today is November 15th, 2018. It's 9 o'clock in the morning and I would like to call this meeting to order. Please rise for the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I need to go somewhere. <laughs> Quit it. Huh? We're just starting and you want to get into an argument. <laughs> Alright, item three. Any citizen desiring to be heard? Come on, Bobby. I dare you. You, you count. <laughs> Alright, go folks. Alright, there we go. Alright, hearing none. <laughs> Very loudly. We'll move on to item four. Consideration of possible action on approving minutes of November. 5th and 8th of 2018. I'll make a motion. I'll second Mike's motion. I have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion passes unanimously. Item 5, consideration of possible action to approve final plat of Springfield in the southwest quarter of 20-17 north and 1 west. Come on down. Come on up here. What do you need for me? You've seen it, right? No? I have not seen it. Are you getting a new edition? Heck fire. A lucky two would be. Springfield is located on the northeast corner of Westminster and County Road 75. That's over your place, huh? Well, that'd be both of us right there on the. I guess it's kind so of uh, this is Westminster. Mm -hmm. So that'd it's be on Road 75. 75. So that's north of 75. These, so that would be these lots have front end on West. On your side of 75, I think at Westminster, aren't it? Yeah. How many lots you gonna have? Thirty-two. That includes the tracks that have frontage on Westminster. Figure an extra. You have had the. Uh, um, there's a little section here in the flood zone we've had that looked at. Smallest lots are two and a half acres. Most of them were average around five acre tracks. The EQ has already approved it. Abstract Company has approved it. The EQ. Mm -hmm. Doing everything quality. I guess you've already been to ACO and had the, the names approved. I'm right. trying to get him jacked up already. Right so. Would you be coming off of 33, most people, or would they be coming up Westminster to get to that? Uh, most of them would probably come off of 33 to fix it on Anderson Road, oh, go yeah. north on Anderson to 75, okay. or they could take Westminster either. Either one either on one. gravel. Right. And uh, we got to put a horn in there between 76 and 75. I'm good, man. Uh, that one plugged up. There's a bad bottom there. Uh, so, yeah. There. Mobile homes, I would assume. Uh, mix. The mix. We have we have a um, minimum age requirement of 2005 or newer. Mm -hmm. um, 1,100 square foot or larger. Mm -hmm. Got you also build houses on mm -hmm. and get some contractors or whoever would be you? No. Okay. okay. Entertain the motion to approve. I'll move. I guess I'll second. I have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. You want to take the copy sign or just to sure. no, uh, uh, lock my get some gravel work a deal with you or something. 
Well, I mean, you know. That's going to be a next year. What would that be? About 140 vehicles a day on there. You put your two per household and go with the and go in. Where would you want some gravel? Oh, whenever we want to go on gravel. Or yeah. On yeah. 75. Mm -hmm. Be nice to work with you. On that. Yeah, Make a better road, road. you'll sell more lots. Here, get a All right. There we go. Oh, there you are. I got you. Were you the one that brought this to the county clerk's office to first look at? Tanner, that works for me. Okay. So once we get this all signed, you'll need to leave here and go across and record it. Mm -hmm. Um, once it's recorded, they're going to give you back a mylar that has to go down and get the, the small one made and then bring that all back. Okay, I'm going to have to take you from out here. Man. I thought they need the large paper copy, they need a small paper copy. So yeah, but we have to have it with all the. Um, the recording information has to be on it, so on the strong version. I uh, see. We're we're kind of kicking around if we can. Um, did you want the paper copy signed for an original? Okay, guys, you need to sign the paper as well. And if everyone would start bringing a legal size with them that we could keep as an original mm -hmm. with all the signatures, that might work. Okay. The, the reason we went to the requirement for the small is for making the copies. I see. Um, um, when you say small, legal, legal, legal. This is uh, technical. You can check the rules on that. It's and I know most of our developers will run into uh, triangle eighty and get them shrunk down to that legal. Okay. Mike, you still need to sign him. Okay. Make sure when you file it, the girls over there would see Beverly. They'll they'll certify it for the clerk's office. It's not going, but it's still good. It's not messy, but it'll do. Nice to get some a little different. Good luck. Variety. Variety is the spice a Thank you. All right. I need bigger table. Well, All right, moving along. Item six. Consideration of possible action to approve contract with Millie Vance Incorporated for administration of FY 2018 CDBG grant for the road project in District 2. She left this when she was here. I can make a motion we approve. Uh, and actually, <laughs> it is set for just the chairman to sign on behalf of the board. I'll second it to you. <laughs> <laughs> Motion and second both. Second. Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm going to vote against it, though. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, did you second that? Yes. That's what I thought I heard. Okay, I have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none, the motion passes unanimously. Item seven, consideration of possible action to approve 
Cooperative Extension Agreement between OSU Cooperative Extension and Logan County for FY 2018-2019. Now that the budget is final and, and submitted and, and a done deal, the contract that backs up those budget appropriations in a total amount of $73,620. Mm -hmm. I'll move the approved. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Any abstentions? Motion passes without objection. I make consideration of possible action to approve interlocal cooperative agreement between residents of Linda Lane and District 1, uh, whereby residents of Linda Lane will provide $4,027.50 to District 1 for purchase of materials to be installed by District 1 to repair Linda Lane. They got a big old push out there in the middle. Of, this is a privately maintained roadway. But they got a big old push out there and, and we've gone out and done the estimate. They also put a uh, culvert across the road to keep it from staying wet there, which is what's causing the push out. So we're going to be putting in a culvert and then repairing the patch in the road. And that's the cost to the residents. And they've agreed to do that. They've all signed and everything. So, and that's the background. Of it. Just to be clear, though, you have talked a little about this is a legit deal to do. A yes. Yeah, this is this fits the, the template for this interlocal right. agreement that we've already talked about, where we can go and work on private roads without accepting responsibility for maintenance of those roads in perpetuity like we used to. Okay. Privately maintained. Yes. Still a public road. It's still a public road and it's privately maintained. So yeah. it fits that, that template. Okay. I'll make a motion to approve. I'll second that. Have a motion and a second. Any further discussion or questions? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? Motion passes unanimously. Okay. Consideration of possible action to approve resolution establishing 2019 county holidays, which coincide with the state holidays. Right? They do, with a couple of exceptions. Um, Logan County always observes uh, the Friday, uh, 89ers Friday in April. And uh, like most counties, we still observe uh, Columbus Day in October. And I just want to add a couple. The sheriff requests on that days. There you um, go. Yeah, and you will add several. That's once a month, though, right? I'll say that. The month one. How about more hours? <coughs> Maybe a holiday on every Monday. <coughs> yeah. Election, election day. day. Election day. Oh, yeah. Some counties yeah. do hey, close for election for day. <laughs> well, the precedent is in some counties the election boards are in the county courthouses so uh, they are closed uh, on general election days heck fire so when are they moving <laughs> or when are we moving over there well i think you would yes. probably still have the option uh, if you just want no what no we haven't on the on the holidays yet you know i'll make a motion we approve i second have a motion and a second to approve the holidays list Jesus. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? Motion passes without objection. <coughs> Item 10, consideration and possible action to approve resolution setting 2019 Board of County Commissioners schedule of regular meetings. <coughs> Uh, same pattern is used. The board will continue to meet on the first Monday and or the first business day in the event of a holiday. The 15th or the Friday before if that falls on a weekend and the last business day of each month in 2019. Yes, sir. Will that be posted on your website? Yes, sir. <laughs> have you All seen right. the new website? New web Not recently. I've been yeah. on your website. No, no, no. We have a brand new fancy oh, website. Oh, yeah. It's in color. I'll have to get some color. <laughs> you Living need to go colors. check it out. You can Still subscribe to have the agendas emailed or text to you when I post them. <clears throat> wow, well, I could be uptown. There you go. Go, folks. Go, folks. I'll move we approve the holiday. Uh, uh, regular scheduling. Okay. 
I'll second. Oh, I'll vote. Okay. That's okay. Fine. That's okay, Mike. You I can. Um, okay, I have a motion and a second. Any further discussion on the meetings, meeting times? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none. Any abstentions? Motion passes unanimously. Item tw uh, 11. Consideration of possible action to approve, update permanent temporary road crossing permit forms. Gentlemen, I think uh, we've all received the email mm -hmm. from uh, Lowell based on the Oklahoma Supreme Court's decision yesterday. Mm -hmm. Or two, actually, it was Tuesday. Mm -hmm. uh, but the Oklahoma Supreme Court came to a decision on Kingfisher County's um, suit, and Kingfisher lost that suit. But uh, the recommendation from Lowell is that one of us goes to the Corporation Commission and says, and ask them if it's okay, if, ask them if it's reasonable uh, what we proposed in our update of our. Permanent temporary road crossing permits, as far as charges and fines and fees and that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. well, I I like our new form, and mm -hmm. uh, I really don't think the corporation commission has much to say about our forms. Uh, now they have the right to dictate maybe what what they run down that pipe, but as far as permitting the road. I mean, I think that's up to us. I, I agree 100%. And, and I think what Lowell also said supports that, Monty, because our forms do not target the oil and gas industry at all. It does, it's right. not specific to oil and gas. This is specific to anybody who wants to put a, a line in our road or a right of way for whatever purpose, it doesn't say. Uh, the only thing that Lowell recommended uh, that we change is the language that talked about uh, the types of pipes that we could use. We, I think we exclude aluminum knockdown pipes, mm. the, the old irrigation pipes that the farmers and ranchers used to use uh, because they leak quite a bit. But <coughs> I, what was his, his recommendation that we... Yeah, our permits currently um, require the use of, uh, what do we call it, lay flat uh, line. Uh, to quote Lowell, I would think that our permit application should contain a statement that any type of line installed for the purpose of conducting oil or gas operations shall be subject to regulations established by Title 22 of Oklahoma statutes and any regulations promulgated by the Oklahoma Corporation Commission. Um, I'm understanding that that he wants what he's saying is that he thinks that that should be maybe inserted into right. our permit. And, and that would that would cover our exclusions um, with with that. I mean, if the Oklahoma Corporation Commission said it's fine for oil and gas to use that type of pipe, then we can't exclude it. Is that true? Right? Well, we we can because we have to say so. What lays on our roads, it ain't up to the Corporation Commission. I don't think. Uh, we can't dictate what they pump through it, right. but uh, we can dictate what kind of line they're going to put in our road. Couldn't you use guidelines to make your justification on the ODOT standards? Oh, well, we, we pretty much already have done that. Right, so. Well, my thinking, I mean, these companies, they, they've gotten away from that aluminum pipe anyway. I mean, right. they're, they're not right. going to use it. But, uh, good. Well, I think we could add the, that in there where we address what type of line. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not real up on going to the corporation commission with my hat, in my hand, asking permission if we can do something. I think that's asking to get bit. I agree. I don't. I don't think they got any say so on our permits anyway. Yeah, no. certainly not on the road. I think they do have a say so on if they can push produced water down it or fresh water or oil. I mean, that's up to the Corporation Commission, not us. But I think the road crossing permits is up to us and not them. I agree 100% with that. Mm -hmm. Well, and I think Lowell's statement here. Right. Uh, Lowell support. Right the to issue that. with Kingfisher County is that they were zeroed into a specific thing directed solely to oil and gas. Lowell points out in this that, that our permit, nothing in our permit singles any one from anyone else. 
you know, my, my biggest issue on, on the temporary road crossing permits have been, I think, the oil companies or the water companies, whoever you want to call them, need the landowner's permission. And now that we have come up with the AG's opinion, the AG's opinion agrees that mm -hmm. they have to have written so permission agree. from the landowners to lay in the county right away. So they got to have the landowner's permission right. mm -hmm. and our permission, and I think we've covered that well. Mm -hmm. I, I agree. I agree. So uh, is there any interest in adding that language uh, about... Sure. I'm, know, I'm not opposed the to old, that. If, if it's an oil and gas company that's laying the line that they have to follow the rules and regulations that down by the Corporation Commission. Yeah, I, I'm, I'd be good with that. Yes. But I think it would be up to them to go to them instead of us. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, so just as a refresher uh, on the temporary, currently it says only lay flat, no leak products may be used on county right away. No aluminum lines are permitted. And then it goes on to say use of other than a lay flat or no leak product will result in a fine per occurrence, the $5,000 fine per occurrence. Um, we can it, it just extract this and plug it into that paragraph. If yeah. that's what you all want to do. Yeah. Awesome. Something else I was thinking, I read one of Kingfisher counties, and uh, let's say Kingfisher County puts in a, or lets them put in a, a culvert to cross the road. Once they put the culvert in, that becomes property of the county. Mm -hmm. Do we need to add something into that so they're not back after digging the road back up to get their culvert back to move it up the road? You know, a mile to do it again. Well, that'd be, a Would that be considered a permanent installation, even though they want to get it back. So here, here's my thought: that they go out there sure. and, and dig up our road again, then they're they're they need to apply for another road crossing permit. I mean, because they're, yeah. they're 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 taking they're ditching the road if they do that. Right. Right. right? Well, Monty sent me the Kingfisher permit, and I failed to print it and bring it with me. Um, on their culvert issues, what they pointed out um, and addressed in, in their verbiage is the installation of a culvert could have an effect on flood water. So they wanted specific permission for a culvert to be installed so they could make sure it didn't interfere with the natural flow of water or, or create an issue there. So I think that probably is what goes back to them saying, once you put it there, it's there instead of pulling it back up and then having to readdress what that may do to the water flow. Well, I, I agree with the intent of what Bonnie's saying. I just wonder how we, how we control that in our... Yeah. What if they put in a nice yeah, plastic maybe. water pipe there? <laughs> hey, I well, they, if they install a cover pipe, I think that ought to be... It, it ought to be a permanent structure. So it is, it, be is it their option to install a cover pipe or do we require it? I require them when, when I let them trench a road to get a pipe. They always put in a culvert to go through. <laughs> is that something that we ought to make standard in our temporary Possibly permit? Possibly so. That's a, that's a temporary issue, right? Right. Yeah. Okay, okay. so the paragraph that that, that would fit into uh, Start states that in construction of pipelines or utility routes that cross county highways or roads, no ditch or trench shall be opened by the applicant, petitioner, or contractor. All crossings shall be bored unless approved by the county commissioner of the district. Opening a ditch or trench without obtaining permission will result in a fine in the amount of five thousand dollars. So I think what you're saying, Monty, if I'm falling, is you would state that uh, upon approval of the county commissioner opening a trench. of opening a trench, a an approved tin horn slash culvert or conduit device shall be installed and will remain in place and uh, to the ownership of the county. Something along that line. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 I, I can plug that in. That's all I got on that. So, yeah. Um. One thing, if I may, um, that was on the Kingfisher permit that I kind of liked, um, they have a page specific to if you're going to request for any of the exceptions. And it dawned on me with this, this tin horn thing because it says that nobody can do a trench or a cut unless they obtain permission and then install the tin horn. Um, 
we don't have an area on these permits for a written this is the deviation that we want to this permit application that can be addressed and specifically approved or denied. Um, I think that that might be a good page to add in. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so that would be a deviation and signed only by that one commissioner? Well, I think if we make it part of the, the, the permit, permit then, it'd be all through. then it comes through here. Uh -huh. But of course, the, the, the Commissioner of the district would have the, uh, I would think, would have a, a big voice in, in that, but it would just become part of the permit. We just don't have anything for any of those exceptions that are, are put on paper. Well, and, and Mike, I understand, mm -hmm. you know, where, where you're going with that. Mm -hmm. I, I just, I, I would like to see some sort of standardization sure. of what we do, you know, in, in the county sure. uh, to where. An, an oil, or um, a company that needs not just an oil company, but any company that goes to your district or to my district or my district kind of sees the same same process. So, <coughs> any and all deviations, or just these crossing deviations, or just ought to come back through here as an amendment to their well deviations from our, from our road crossing permits. No, no, ahead. I mean, yeah. we got the yeah. and that way they know what their so costs will be too. So. So, if they're going, I just want to make sure I'm following so I know how to write it up. I need to file for a permit. I have all the rules in, in here, but I need to trench this road. I should know that before I ever file the permit. At which time, there's a page included that said, I'm asking permission for this exception to this rule at this location for this reason, blah, blah, blah. When it comes to this board for approval, then the board knows that these exceptions were being requested. And, and then at that time, I think the commissioner that's responsible for that road would be able to weigh in with what size the culvert needs to be mm -hmm. and right. that sort of stuff. Because and the, the drainage issues become um, a, a principal concern at that point. Yes, and it's up to the county commissioner in that district to determine what those special requirements would be yeah. at that time. And drainage is the key issue, so yeah. Yeah, I'd like that. This, I'll tell you what happened over in Kingfisher County the other day is they run two of the flat lay lines through a culvert, and they wasn't thinking about when they pressure them up what it's going to do. <laughs> well, the two they ran through there was bigger than the tin horn, so that busted the tin horn, pushed the black top of it. Mm. Made a nice little mess. Wee. So that's just something to think about when, when we look at them. What size of culvert, what size of line you're running. Right. So, so running two 10 inch lay flat lines through an 18 inch culvert is probably not gonna work. It didn't the other day, but I'm not gonna say it won't. It just <laughs> didn't for them. Do they really, do they talk about fees and how much it would cost? Did that come up in this hearing? No, uh, well, it, it, it did, it, but it said that anything specific to the oil and gas industry had, right. was, had, to, had to be adjudicated by the Corporation Commission. So if, if we decided to say, okay, if you're running frack fluid, now we're getting into oil and gas. If you're running flat, frack fluid through this, then we're going to charge you an extra $1,000 a mile uh, for doing that, just because we can then that, we could get sued over that. And if we get sued over that, then it goes to the Corporation Commission for um, for them to determine whether or not that's reasonable or not. Mm -hmm. I was say, you, wanna, you wanna share this line from Lowell that I think kind of answers sure, what, uh, yeah. Lowell's interpretation, he went and looked at the suit mm -hmm. in the case, and I think it kind of sums up in this one sentence what this means, the result from the court is that any attempt to adopt a regulation that is not a road use regulation, but rather one aimed at oil and gas industry is outside of the authority and jurisdiction of the county commissioners. He had noted that the, the case in Kingfisher County, specifically the commissioners passed a resolution that banned disposal water, but it didn't ban fresh water. So they really were interfering in that oil and gas industry, not a road issue. Okay, so uh, 
Do you want to table these back? Yeah, I was just going to say, <laughs> we need to look at the, the updated, updated forms now. This is the second update. Uh, we want to table that to the, what, the 30th, I guess? Uh, we'll table to the 30th, which will also necessitate a change to the effective date. Okay. Yep. Everybody good with that? Yep. Well, so, yeah. yeah my little we, we talked about temporary. What about permanent? Yeah. Um, in, in our permanent road crossing permits, currently we have that they have to gravel 200 yards each direction of the pipe, four inches thick. Right. Um, I mean, you do the math on that off the the raw calculator. It's going to cost about 12 grand per crossing. I think that's a little excessive. I think it's too much. We talked about that last time. And right. I thought we agreed to, to lower that to some. Yeah. They we never did. That was on the temporary. We added in the requirement on the temporary permit for them to rock 50 foot each direction right. of the of the cross. This is on the permanent. Okay. I, I thought we had made that effective to both the temporary and the permanent, so apparently not. I don't think we did. Okay. I mean, do we want to do that? Is that what you... I, I think we need to. Okay. My, I like my 200 yards each direction. Yeah, but we, we all do. We all do. Well, yeah. I, don't, I would rather have a mile each direction. Well, but yeah. I'd rather have a blacktop for a mile each direction. There you go. But we need to be reasonable. We need to be fair. Well, yeah. I don't think we can so. sit in the court wall and say, hey, you know, this is just fine. I think we need to shorten it up myself. Just to clarify, what was added to the temporary permit? Was that any location that is bordered or a culvert, tin horn, or conduit is installed for the purpose of carrying a temporary line, a minimum of 50 tons of inch and a half crushed rock or traffic bound surface course shall be laid 50 feet each direction from the center of the pipeline crossing no gypsum to be used okay so I'm going to read that and think that we need 50 tons on each side going 50 feet so I think we might have a little verbiage problem there you know we was just saying that a, a semi would haul around 25 tons so we was thinking 25 two, tons two or each two, two semi right so they need to That'd spread 50 feet. 25 times on each side, 50 feet on each right. side. Right. So yeah. do we get that by the way this is worded? That's what I'm asking. I understood. It, okay. Uh, okay. So that's that's the, what we added to the temporary. What is currently and was not changed in the permanent boring of unpaved roads. So this is not on a cut. This is on a bore. A minimum of four inches of inch and a half crushed rock or TBSC shall be laid 200 yards each direction from the center of the pipeline crop seeing no gypsum to be used. So there's a tremendous difference in the amount of rock. That's right. That's 400 yards. Well, like I, I figured it up the other day, it costs 12000 per crossing. That means our road crossing is pretty high. So you're going to use the same standard as for the temporary? Or are you going to use the little? I'd rather them do 50,000, but, but I think to be fair, yes. 50 foot on each side or 50 yards? 50 foot. Mm -hmm. This is a bore, not a cut. Mm -hmm. I know, but they're still going in and out right there. Yeah. All kinds of pipe trucks. And you know, that's the problem. Welders. And with, the, with, the, with the permanent line, I mean, them guys tear up more stuff. They do. Than what you can ever fix. But it's not just there. I mean, it's no the, the 15 miles getting to it. Yeah, yeah, it is. I mean, but I think 12,000 is a little steep. To be, I mean, you got to be fair. Yeah, there right. was 12,000. Oh, if once that's hauled in and spread. So what if you looked at changing both of them to be four inches deep of rock, which is what the permanent requires, for that 100 feet and take out the tonnage requirement on both of them. Does that give you a solid base across each of those points? Yeah, I was going to figure out how many times we're ever going to take. But you go ahead and be talking. I was just... I think, I think we're... Uh, 
one to decide. What do you think, Mike? Talk to me. Well, you know, uh, county could all that gravel and make it go a lot further. I understand they've got a lot of costs associated with getting a contractor to deliver as well as a contractor to spread it. And so, yeah, they're at a lot of cost. I, I understand that. Um, you know, more the merrier on our side, less the merrier on their side. So if that's reasonable, but still, like I say, they're tearing up that road. They are. I mean, like for instance, uh, that pipeline that went down Forest Hill, that's paved road. And I have failures on that paved road that are starting to come up. And all those heavy trucks there made it feel faster. Not that all the other trucks aren't making it. Amen, brother. I had something on four stills myself. Yeah. So you you, you kind of say we're getting a heck of a lot of damage out of this. But we don't have any recourse. If uh, Corporation Commission had some recourses to the damage they did on the roads, be fine. But they don't. And so. So, but. You know, you know, you got wear and tear on the road. I do. I mean, I do. There's a lot of the, other traffic on the road. The world go down there I road. agree. I agree. They do. So They're all I'm, public roads. I've been fighting this same issue out here. I talked yeah. a little the other day about it. Sure. And the pipelines is destroying the road, but yes, it's a public sir. road. They, they have the right to go down that road. They have a right to destroy that road. Yes, sir. So, <laughs> I mean, we, we, you can't punish them for going down a public road. Right. I know. And really, it's our purview to keep that road up in good travel condition for their trucks. And uh, as well as everybody else's vehicles. And so, yeah, you're in a quandary. I mean... Well, the minimum the way it is right now it costs the old company ten grand to gravel what we require. Right. I, I think that's too much money. I mean, for what we require now, the I mean, to, to, to protect the landowners, you know, I'd say, hey, they need to rock a mile, and and I'm all about that. But yeah. I'm all about the landowners, but we got to follow the law. Well, that's true, and it is a public group, and yes, sir, public has a right to. Do that. Damages, you know, maybe you can bill them, maybe it'd be enforceable. But doubtful, you know. So, what would you like to propose, Mark? Uh, I mean, if you want to go 50, I'll go 50. Hey, I'm only one voice here. I, I just think 200 yards each direction is. Uh -huh. Yeah, I understand you. I mean, but it's one for all, just one voice. But I mean, we we need to. Yeah. What's reasonable? I mean, well, voice well, I mean, I'd, I'd say hundred feet. I'd say at least like a half, just two hundred yards. Period. hundred yard each direction would be better than two hundred yard each direction. True. Or a hundred feet down to two hundred feet yard. each direction. Yeah. I mean, you know. Change well, we got to decide. We got to decide on something. Feet. Yeah. I'd say. Right. I what do you think 200 feet would cost him? That'd be 400 feet each. I don't know, I'd figure it out. 400 feet is less than a tenth of a mile. Well, if you cut it down to 200 yards, 100 yards each direction, I mean, you're down to five grand at least. Well, I, uh, yeah, if you go yards, I was talking about 200 feet, but 200 feet would be what? Six, we are six yards. A, a permanent, right? I mean, yeah, know, permanence. The, the the ratio of permanence to temporary is, is a lot lower, right? So. But are you going to use the same standard, which was what I was going to come? Are we going to make these match for the same instances on both permits? Sounds like maybe not. That's that's. <laughs> I personally think we ought to make them the same. If you still want me to figure this out, Mike? Sure. You said 200 feet total? Oh, no. 200 on each side is what I said. 400 feet. Yeah. 400 feet? Total of 400 feet, 200 on each side. Instead of 200 yards, make it 200 feet on each side. 
Or we could make it 100 feet on each side. Make it just 200 feet total. That Lowell made when he was here last week, and kind of what you can take from this court ruling, the purpose of all of this is to make the county whole and repair the actual damage inflicted. Yeah, not repair. prevent damage down the road, not, it, it, it needs to be not there for, for the damage. The so five repair. miles of asphalt would be good. <laughs> so where they go under the road, that's where they do all their turning, bring their heavy equipment, and da da da. And it is a public road, but you know, well, I say we make them both the same. Then we're not treating no one any different than anybody else. Okay, can I get a, a motion on what that same would be? What's 50, the other one? 50, 50 feet on the, the, 50 the temporary signs? was changed to add the requirement, and I think there's a, a little verbiage there. Um, temporary line a minimum of 50 tons of inch and a half crushed rock or tbsc shall be laid 50 feet each direction from the center of the pipeline cross that's what what's on the temporary so i think we need to take the footage out because i'm not sure you can get 50 tons spread that far you know what mm -hmm. I mean? so i'd say the minimum of 50 tons of gravel per crossing so that's for permanent and mm -hmm. temporary okay so I, I here, here's what I would am asking you don't specify the distance that that 50 tons is supposed to be applied so you're driving down the road and you find a mountain of rock that's just been dumped well but if you tell them that it's got to go 200 feet I mean I can make that rock go a quarter of a mile <laughs> yeah. yeah I mean they'll spread it so damn thin you can, you can count the rocks I'd rather put on right as to let them string it out well, yeah, but I think that that by the wanna, distance is doing building the box that it has. You don't to want a speed bump, is what you're saying, mm -hmm. right? Right. You don't want a little mountain public leave it in. Well, no, maybe there's just a better way to express. <sighs> Spread evenly. <laughs> I mean, you gotta have your thickness. Thickness and distance. Yeah, you want it at least four inches thick. Uh, okay, so then figure up what four inches thick across a hundred feet takes. I think you already did. Well, why wouldn't you leave out the tonnage and just put, you gotta have it this long, this thick. I don't care how much it takes. Right, mm -hmm. that, that'd probably be the route to go. Yeah, it probably would be. Okay. Four okay. inches thick at yeah, what, how? 200 feet. Hundred foot each side. Is that what you're talking about? Fine. That'd be good. I thought it was a total of a hundred feet. Total of hundred yep. feet. Yep. Currently, it's a total of hundred. It was fifty feet each direction from center point. Right. So hundred feet, four inches thick, twenty foot wide, with cover. Leave out the tines, maybe. Yeah. I'm working on that. That's pretty much what DCP did when they came across, but they used gyp, and then we showed them the area of their ways and came back with rock and extended that. Permit says they can't use gyp. We're going to be done here in a minute. Probably. That was before the permit was changed. Yeah, Sorry, Marty. <laughs> Thank you, sir. And that was in front of my house, and I didn't even care for it. Can I get a motion on that? Let me I'll get my verbiage right first. Okay, uh, but, but if, if she gets the wording right, I'll need it. Right. <coughs> Do we have a call, Sheriff? <laughs> we need to go. No. Dang. I need to get back. I got a meeting. You're in a meeting. Yeah. Yeah. This is Earth, Wind, and Fire with David Ball. Uh, it's exercise. They're coming to town. We're hoping. Okay, let's see if I'm wheel this in. At any location that is bored or a culvert ten corner conduit is installed for the purpose of carrying a temporary line, an amount of 1.5 inch crushed rock or TBSC shall be laid at a depth of 4 inches and a distance of 50 foot each direction from center line. Right. Not to be good. 
and then yeah that that all in does that work yes yeah in the same way on permanent and you want that exact same laid into the permanent okay that all can rejoice so I have a motion for the second. second. I have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Hearing now, all in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Any abstain? Motion passes without objection. We'll add that. And we'll revisit that on uh, the 30th. Anything else on this? Okay. Mm -mm. Moving along, item 12. Consideration of possible action to acknowledge receipt of loss, lawsuit, Jason, W. Davidson Trust of 2010 versus Board of County Commissioners of Logan County, CJ 2018-108. So to, to let you all understand, this is a, a case that's been brought that revolves around the sale of a resale tax property. Uh, the, the property went back on taxes. The treasurer's office sold it uh, through the process it came out that there had been an error made in the assessor's office many years ago prior to this assessor i understand that messed up and that property was actually a piece of another property the taxes had been paid on um, mr davison uh, understood this was an error uh, but the process was to file a tort claim for the money that he was out through the buying of this property he filed his original lawsuit naming just the treasurer and just the assessor as defendants and it had been processed by Lowell and, and ACO. However, uh, under the Tort Claims Act, it had to address the Board of County Commissioners. So he's come back in and he's now filed a, with the Board of County Commissioners so that they're compliant under the Tort Claims Act. ACO, um, has the case, <coughs> Lowell is also involved in the case, and that's just a quick overview of what the case is. He's trying to recover, I think it's 17, close to $17,000 in costs where he bought this property unknowing, we didn't know there was an issue. I make a motion to acknowledge. I'll second that. Have a motion to the Motion and a second, any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? All in, uh, motion passes without objection. Item 13, consideration possible action to approve resolution accepting $250 donation from Jordan and Amanda Kendish. How's that pronounced? Kenji. Kenji. To District 3 for gravel to be applied to North Douglas. I move we approve. Second. Have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion passes without objection. Chairman, there are none for items 14 and 15. Item 16, consideration of possible action on approving the following temporary road crossing permits for Brooklyn Fast Line and Select Energy Services. Three inch water line uh, across County Line Road. Um, and CR 71. I'm against him. Sir? I said I'm against him. Mm. We knew that. Delay this till next month. Make him reapply. No. We got a new business. No, I know. I'll move we're for in second. I have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion passes unanimously. I got to say this Brickman, they, they're on top of the game, they do good business. I didn't get that one. Sorry. All right. If, if they if we have to install a culvert, yeah. Sure enough. If trenching 
You sure don't want somebody running into an open trench. Okay, so we <coughs> item 17, consideration of possible action on approving the following permanent road crossing permits for Cimarron Express Pipeline LLC. Uh, across North MacArthur, 0.25 miles east. Uh, B700 Road, 134 feet south. I'll move we approved. Man, I'm going to bring you a quarter mile of rail on you. I'll second. Yeah. I know it. Have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion passes unanimously. Okay. Item 18, consideration of possible action on approving consent agenda. Payroll. I'm definitely against payroll. Yay. There are no transfers. Blankets. If, if it's approved on the 30th, does it take 30 days to enact that? Or when, when's the new, when's it take over? It, well, it'll be whenever they determine. Um, I, there's not a statute that's oh. going to have a re requirement on that. They shoot December 1st. I day. remember, just, yeah, I didn't know if they just cut it 30 days out or. No, I'm just. I can get all the time. Yeah. Bobby's bringing them Krispy Kreme donuts. Yeah, we arrange that. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna use that one. That's the right answer. I'm trying to be a road grader. I'm gonna grow it. Be there tomorrow morning at 7 o'clock, brother. <laughs> I'll get you that to... If you wanna work Saturday, that'd be good too. Mm. Yeah, plenty of reason to wake up excited now. Yeah. In fact, if you want to, you just drive right after South Mall Hole, close to home. And I got a guy sitting out there that'll help you get going. That'd be great. Bring your lunch. Yeah, the loose hill is closed up, you know. <laughs> Lost donut shopping. Blue seals. Man. Do seals is yes. closed? Yes, they closed. No. They don't close very long. I know. Yeah, we wife and I were out there it had dinner, lunch, lunch, dinner on, on a Saturday, and they closed that Sunday after that. They never told us anything about closing. I've been out there since they reopened, and now they're closed again. Yeah. Uh, nice. Meet me up for a night, I'll buy a I'll sit out and kind of wait for you. Okay. Yeah. Oh. You all yeah, the disappointing thing is, they had one of the best steaks in Logan County. I thought it was a nice place. Yeah. 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 I know there's some people up there working on some options on that. But 
<laughs> At least we still got the rock away. <laughs> it will never die. Okay. No. That's no. a lot of history. Where the hell are they along the golden road? Catfish doodling contest. Are they having that? Ah, uh, they've had it so far every year. Since they started that. I think so. I was talking to that lady about when they had it on TV. Mm -hmm. And she said, it, it, it's not what shows on TV. Those guys are sitting over there waiting for their turn to step up. Oh, yeah. They ain't rushing back to meet a deadline. All for TV? Makes good TV. Makes good TV. Yeah. Further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion passes unanimously. Item 19 Consideration of possible action on approving claims for payment for November 2018. And as Molly says, I'm against paying claims. There's a bunch of them. Yeah, there's the, I'll move that we approve the claim in a second. Do you want to look at it first? Well, are you going to deny them? I'm, yeah. going to, I'm going to deny any knowledge that I would have said that. <laughs> you always protest them. Yeah. Okay, have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. All right. All right. Now I've got to wait to look at them all first. Well, yeah. yeah. I'll right. approve this one. He set you up. Uh, he did. Uh, he's now you're the bad guy. Well, that kind of goes without saying. Yeah. And they're just stacking out of compliance. What's up with that? Yeah. Yeah, there's a, a, a department that's got a whole lot of them in there because. Board prisoners? They sure. didn't get encumbered early enough for the precinct rents. What time we you to? I mean. That one should have been out of compliance. Hmm. Uh, Invoice before we go. Man. Uh, Let's see. Uh, Let's see. Uh, I, 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 I ain't saying nothing. Still stack left. There's still stack yeah. <laughs> Oh, there we go. That's why I wasn't saying nothing. Come on, D3, y'all, let me down. Okay. And just by Damon left. He, he might have had a few of that kind of fun. Yeah. for every claim. Mm -hmm. And we get to skip that because... You sign the, the report. Ah. Uh, can't we just do a report of these? Uh, <laughs> sign, sign that. Technically, those are also on the report, but the idea of doing it this way is 
to make sure that, that you all see and, and that this was, was not done in the most proper of manner and it is being approved. Okay, punishment. I get it. That public health order knocked them out of the park here. I ain't saying nothing. Like the rural there, public health needs to get around together. This is probably her getting around right together. Some of mine could have got out of order, is all I'm saying. One thing about it, we're all guilty on. Dollar 48, dollar 12, 60 cents. Invoice before PO. Invoice before PO. This us give the auditor something to look at. We wouldn't want to disappoint them now, would we? <gasps> that would be boring, wouldn't it? Didn't have them. Well, they're all secure. Well, it looks more than well as anything. So were they, were they pay, pay in the precincts and if that's location rent for the precinct? Yeah, fifty dollars. Yeah, fifty bucks. That was it. Oh, every one of them was five. They didn't know they was gonna have to pay. I guess. I think that's another part of that learning curve, y'all. We're just. Mm -hmm. So. But they're not being punished. I'm just calling we <laughs> Yeah, we got to sign it. Right. We're being punished. sure we have the connection to all the laptops and all that good kind of stuff so the class starts at nine of the training with the new website. Vendor training. Oh. Website training. I just for the last three weeks have went in and said, oh what's this button do? Click. No, that's the best way to do it. And she is living proof that you can't break that. And then you know not to do that one button again. Yeah well I haven't completely blown it up yet. Yeah. Well when you do you know not to do that and then it'll be good that, rest that's of time. It. I guess mine would be on the agenda for the uh, We'll work on that one. 30. Are you done? So the next one. The first wave. <laughs> Consideration of possible action on approving purchase card payment for November 2018. And Mike, I know you're 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 eagerly awaiting, and I have really drugged because we were trying to test. You're fine. Well, and here's 
why it paid off. Mm -hmm. We did not learn until yesterday that the when they set up to do the ACH payments from the treasurer's office directly to Bank of America, it didn't go through. Uh, and we don't know why. That was part of our first what? opening purchases and test and small sure. little box. So I'm so thankful that we have not went full on yet with this deal until now we get this blown that, uh, yeah. proportion issue. Yeah, so okay. Sherry's working on figuring out why they didn't get their money and um, so we're still on the testing phase. Okay. All right. We had a road counter that was stolen and we found it in the car. Wait, no, man. So. <laughs> With Barry Modem. So we could still use a few stuff. Well, like I said, I. Yeah. I wanted to baby step that thing. We've done some real simple Amazon, a couple of things, and, and we, don't, we had to run to Walmart over <laughs> helping the sheriff over a different situation. Anyway, but, yeah, and, I, I, and I'm really glad we've kept it so narrow because we just found out that that part didn't work. Are we back square with Walmart yet since you brought that up? Um, um, after today and the mail for the next few days, probably. That was almost. They're getting paid. That was I'm an almost. I'll make a motion we approve the second. I have a motion and a second to approve the key card purchases for November. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion passes unanimously. Item 21, any citizen desiring to be heard? Hearing none. Sure. Item 22, comments, announcements, questions by the Board of County Commissioners. Mike? Well, <coughs> I, uh, in referral to the new 522 EMS district, uh, I did check out that one portion of Wellston that comes into Logan County on Seward Road. It takes up about a half square mile. And there are two voters in there. And I called the superintendent of Wilson School and he uh, says that they do have a bond issue probably coming up here shortly which of course for those two people requires the election board to have that open their precinct uh, polling would be at 105 close to Meridian Indian Marine Road and then, of course, three days that the main one here has to come in case those two voters want to come in and vote there, which most likely, if they vote, they will be voting absentee. So if we want a member from each school district, we have that issue. Now, having given that information to the Wellston superintendent, he says that there are areas similar to that that are encroached into Lincoln County uh, from Luther schools. So there's a possibility that they could do a trade out on that. But proceeding forward, I'll be contacting those two people to see if one of them would like to be on the board. And in the meantime, I do have people coming out of the woodwork who would like to be on that board. Termites? Um, relevant to that, I thought I had put it on this agenda, and apparently I didn't because the notice of it I got maybe when I was working on this. So on the 30th, just as an FYI, don't make a decision, we have to name this new EMS district. And once we have a name, then it can be plugged into the resolution that Lowell is drawing up that will formally adopt how many board members and where they come from and, and that type of thing. Um, Lowell said there's not a legal requirement for a name, but that's the historical standard, and the three we have are identified by the school district, but this has six school districts. I think we ought to call it the Monty and Mike MS district. M&M. &M. M&M. M&M, &M, there you go. I would definitely vote against that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anything else? 
Yeah, that's okay. basically. I, yes. I got a question for you two. Would y'all be willing or able to say the first week of December? Let me if you, I, I got like a mile and a half. I want to grab them. I was wondering if y'all could like let your belly dumps haul for me for a week, and then the next week my belly dumps would haul for y'all. I mean, can, can we work I'm, out where we can get something done? I'd, I'd absolutely be in favor of helping you do that. You can give us a shout. We're having real issues with uh, medical on my drivers, but what I have, why? Well, me too. I mean, that's that. my problem is is I've got all these spots I want to fix. I only got two trucks running, and I'm not getting anything done. Mm. And I was just thinking outside the box. If if like one week we can haul for District Three, the next week we haul for District Two or District One, and kind of work together, and maybe we get something done. Just throwing that out there. I'd like to. I'd be happy to work with you. One yeah. other one other thing that I use, um, and it's it's a little more expensive uh, because we've already got the trucks and the belly dumps is to contract that hauling out to like double-a trucking or one of the other ones that and, and i've done that, that very thing yeah but, mm -hmm. but i'm just so far behind but i thought if we could kind of i'd be happy them. i'd be happy to do that i mean okay yeah i'm really behind as well i mean maybe we could help one another out and get something done for the taxpayer but a lot of that has to do with the weather jeez i understand so that. yeah if you want to do that first week in December, I'll well, put that on the... I'll, on the I'll get something set up and I'll let you know for sure. Well, and there you have the issue, too, of everybody going to be on holiday. So I understand. It's a uh, skeleton crew, certainly, that last week of uh, the month. So Just throwing it out there for mm -hmm. conversation. Which leads me to remind the board, with next week being short, with a Thanksgiving holiday, and iffy weather is being forecast. If you need fuel, salt, sand, we need that stuff called in this afternoon, if possible, so that deliveries can be scheduled because there's going to be a backlog with just the three day week next week with the vendors trying to get those orders filled. That way we won't get invoiced before we get a PO. Well, I just. <laughs> this time of year, uh, when you have all the yeah. holidays and the short Gosh. schedule, and now we've got the iffy weather, and you've got all of a sudden you've got 77 counties screaming for the salt guy or the sand guy or the fuel guy or. Yep, got it. Yep. Thank you, man. Uh, anything else, Mike? I'm done. Okay. We got our salt. <laughs> I don't know about fuel. So um, we've talked a little bit uh, about uh, the building next door over here. Uh, one of the things we're going to talk about, I think, that we agreed to talk about at the trust board meeting, the next one, is um, putting a, a fund together to do some preliminaries with that building over there to, to look at uh, what it would cost or put a fund together to, to get uh, an estimate on what it would cost to be debated. Uh, what it would cost uh, for architectural, uh, basic architectural design, uh, the roof and the windows to get fixed. Are you speaking of a full feasibility study? Full feasibility that study. That I think is really uh, the term that they use in that type. Of You're thing. scoping to see what each thing I is going to cost. I, I want to get. Uh, so what I want to do is, first of all, we're, we're going to have to get it abated no matter what we do with it. So we need to get a cost on what, what the abatement is going to be. It's going to be somewhere between uh, around around four hundred thousand dollars to get that thing abated. So what I've what I've got from other people that have done similar projects, um, and then we're going to need to get uh, the roof fixed. And then we're going to need to get it. We're going to need to get it dried in after it's abated, and then after that, we need architectural uh, suggestions on how to go in and fix those things. Yeah, along those lines, is that building on the historic res register in Guthrie? Oh, I'm not sure. that I know of. But uh, I mean, we would have to find out. We need to find out because that has a lot to do with what we can. The cost associated with making changes to the facade. Mm -hmm. 
they probably want to chip in and help pay for it. I'm sure they do. Sure. Of course. Anyway, we're we're going to do that on the on the fifteenth, and so we also fifteenth uh, next month. So around the first, we'll hopefully we'll have something on this agenda to talk about getting that done, and getting those uh, requests out there for that type of work. Okay. Over here. So, he's just salivating all over the time. Mm -hmm. Do I need to get you my business card? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Just a, give it to Troy. She'll, she, she knows. She, I think she's already got your number. number. She'll file that away. The only other thing I wanted to bring up is the possibility of a uh, holiday party. We haven't talked about that at all. My guys don't seem to be interested. I'll talk to them about it. I'm, I'm ready. Whatever, whatever we need to do. You gonna bring the welders? Pecan high. The welders? Welders. <laughs> we have a road grader contest. Driver? Yeah, yeah. Oh, we do that. Course. Yeah, back up. He's in. So, where are we going to do that? District what else folks do? Yeah, we can do that at the district on shop. Then, uh, yeah. I, don't know. I guess we can check and see if we can use the fairground. That building up there? Sure. Yeah. I know a new building they're not using very much. <coughs> <laughs> I, <heard that> <coughs> <laughs> I hadn't even considered or kicked around, so what do you want me to do? Uh, I want you to tell me where you whether you will participate. You want to send out a memo and send, send it everybody I, I think that might be the best bet is let's contact the county officers and see what participation level we can get. Well, let's, let's do that. And uh, so the <coughs> county officers are going to pay you a thousand bucks a piece. To well, I promise you that won't happen. Okay. Well, I was just checking the, the depth of the pockets, you know. You found your line. I found my line. Yes, ma'am. Please. Okay. That's all I've got. Anything else? All right, hearing none, I'll consider a uh, motion on item motion 23. to adjourn. I'll second. Have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion passes unanimously. We're adjourned.